Nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. I've heard so much about this game because it's kind of popular right now, and I've seen Markiplier play it, and I'm thinking that I should give it a try. So, let me turn up the volume. Oh, okay, I see that there's a snowman out there. Okay, I want new game. Should I be a boy or a girl? I'll be a girl. Just kidding. I'll be a boy. Because that's my gender. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, pick up. Interact. E. Okay. Ooh, I think I'm building a stomach. Oh, okay. Here's the head. Here's the koi, I believe. Hey, this is the snowman I saw outside. Here's the nose. And here's the hat. And, oh, there's the arms. I can see them. Okay, then. Let's put these two arms on here. Okay. And let's put this other one over here. And we're good to go. What a fresh made snowman. Oh, wait. What's happening? Everything's going... Oh, the sun's going down. Oh, okay. It's snowing. Clockwork Wolf. Presents. Hmm. Frosty Nights. Woohoo! Let's do it, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I. S oh, is that deer? Oh, hi, hi, deer. I'm trying to get the grass into the snow. I feel bad for you out there in that weather. Oh, oh, it's an owl. Oh, cool. Okay. This is cool. I'm kind of into this, actually. Well, okay, everything's going dark now. Alright. Oh, okay. I'm in my room. Okay, this is where I was in the beginning. Um, story time. I hid my story tapes around my room to stop my mom. Don't stay up too late, okay? You I won't. Your first day at school tomorrow. And no listening to those horror stories anymore. You know they give you nightmares. Sweet dreams. Love they don't, you. They don't give me nightmares, Mom. It's okay. I can deal with it. I hope you don't have nightmares, though. Anyway, where was I? Mom was interrupted. I hid my story around my room to stop my mom finding them. I'm not sleepy yet. I might find them and play them in my tape player. I won't have time to listen to them again, though. I have five tapes. Okay, so my goal is to find those five tapes. Okay. Ooh, what's this? A flashlight? Don't mind if I do. Oh, cool. Alright. Take the tape. I think we put them here. Oh, okay. Frosty Nights. Who are you? Chapter One. Chapter Welcome, one. children, to a wonderful, magical, yet grisly story that old Saint Nicholas never wanted you to know. What is it? This story takes us back a long, long time ago. Long, when long, 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 long time ago. Like some ginger in his beard. We'll just call him by what everyone today know him as Santa. 
Okay. We will start from the very beginning. When Santa was still hey, scouring the world with the perfect place right, to build his workshop, them. he found none better than the North Pole, where magic seeped readily from the Earth. So much magic was there that Santa learned to use the magic in ways he had never dreamt. His okay. body no longer grew old. He could slow time around him to a near complete stop, and as long as he gathered enough magic, he knew he could travel the world in what to us was a single day. He a single day? Even time as he could, Santa quickly realized to make enough toys for every child in the world would take him far. Santa? So Santa oh my put his God. hands into the snow and called to Mother Nature herself for help. Mother Nature was gentle, as she was mild. She saw the kindness in Santa's heart and agreed to help by melding Santa's magic and Mother Nature's spirit into the snow itself. The first of the snowmen bubbled up from the ground like liquid snow, yet unmoving and lifeless just as the snowman we know today. Mother Nature seemed to pause before then placing a carrot for its nose. You see, right. everything that is alive requires a small part of life to begin with. The acorn for the oak tree, the egg for the red robin, and the love of a mother and father for humanity. The carrot twitched, and no slow eyes within the sphere of snow began to appear and opened for the first time. Santa slanted his head to the side in a curious thinking gaze as he took off his scarf and hat. And placed it upon the What are snowman. you, a, a rat Taking holding a, a star? Back, he looked again and smiled. The snowman smiled back. As Santa, the father, and Mother Nature as the mother, the snowman were all too happy to help Santa build his workshop and all the toys for every child in the world. Alright. Okay, that tape's done. Okay, I still have to find the five tapes, so that was tape number one. Is in here? Oh no. Where's this the next tape? Get out of my way. Nope, nothing in here. Hmm. Huh. Let me check in here. Oh dang, I'm out. my flashlight's out. The one here? <gasps> Could it be? Is it a tape? I think it is. How am I gonna get it? I see it. Oh, yes, I got it. Haha, right, <laughs> yes! Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Many years had passed, and children throughout the world had Christmas within their hearts. Santa had delivered toys year after year to the children of the world, That's and what the he world does. was a better place for it. However, there were children who were not happy with Santa's toys alone, and demanded more and more. The parents of many of these children succumbed to their child's wishes and began to buy more and more as each year passed. Each year more and more trees were getting cut down. Toy factories could not keep up with the demand. Oh my god, who would drop paying of a tornado with two people so sad? Who would do such a thing? Jack, who would do such a thing? Squirrels, deer, bears, and countless more of her children were left homeless and died. Mother Nature once saw humanity as her children, but each year as the destruction for toys carried on, she became more and more. Furious. Furious? Santa understood Mother Nature's anger and tried to make amends by creating the naughty list. The naughty list. Any child who was undeserving would not receive Santa's toys. And the spare magic from making those toys would be given to oh, yes, the planet back. to help grow and recover. Mother Nature was happy for a time, until even this did not offset I wish I could leave this room. Greed. 
I can't. Humans, no. Now, with great machines, powered from the fossils of her most ancient children, began to pollute the air, water, the earth. Forests vanished before her eyes. The entire species began to die. Die. Mother Nature wept for many years, hoping humanity would hear her and stop the pain they were causing. Her cries were drowned out by the drills pouring into the planet, the saws biting into the trees, and the roaring of flames in the engines. The pain turned to anger, and the anger to fury. Santa was helpless as Mother Nature's suffering began to warp the minds of the snowmen. One by one, they stopped working on toys, and slowly but surely, faded into the distance as they left the workshop behind. Santa eventually found like the elves high up in the mountains that were glad to be of help to Santa. However, our story is with the snowman, and not Santa. Okay. Alright, that's two, now I gotta find three. Oh, not in here. Hmm. I think I found it. Yep, there's the third one. Let's grab it. There we go. Chapter 3 John had just gotten home from school. He quickly grew excited as he spotted the snowman outside his bedroom window. John's what dad the? often made him surprises, me. and he quickly ran out to decorate the snowman. That's John what I did. used his favorite scarf and hat and found the shiniest rocks he could for the buttons. But that's what I did, John though. was very proud of his decorations, and soon it was time for him to go to bed. I was playing as John. Looking out the window, he smiled at the snowman as his eyes slowly began to close. John awoke with a chill in the air and snow on his bed. He opened his eyes to see the window was wide open. Confused and sleepy, he got up and closed the window. As he looked out, however, he noticed the snowman's hat was missing. What? It must have blown off in the wind, he thought. Upon getting back into bed, he found the hat on top of his covers. He stopped and thought for a moment. His mom must have taken it off and put it there for him. After all, he no longer had a hat to wear for school tomorrow. Really? It was very cold outside in the morning. The next day, John returned again from school, and a second snowman was right next to the first. He couldn't believe it. His dad had built him a second. He went into the closet and found his box of old worn clothes, hats, and scarves too tattered to wear, but sentimental enough to keep. John decorated the second, and again smiled with pride. As it almost I have a Lego smile back of Santa Claus. A trick of the imagination. And John thought how cool it would be if snowmen really were alive. Oh, okay. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Yes, I found the fourth chapter. Chapter 4 The sound of snow filled wind blowing through the room. The screech of an open window in as it bangs to and fro. John opens his eyes once again, tiredly shuffling out of bed to close his window. John freezes as his hand reaches for the latch. Only one of the two snowmen are outside his window. Why has someone moved it? John hears a dripping sound coming from his closet. What? John may only be a child, but he's never been my scared of the dark or monsters. Nope. He's too clever to believe in fairy tales. So why would monsters be any more real than those? He heads over to the closet, and with a gentle pull, begins to open the door. Uh, okay. That's it. Okay, I guess I gotta find the fifth one now. 
Now I think that's when I start my night. What the? Just teleport me back here? Why did it do that? Ah, there, there you are. I gotcha. All right, last tape. Let's do this. Chapter five. John's vision begins to adjust into the darkness from staring at the bright moonlight outside. Nothing. His closet is empty besides a few boxes. Okay. The dripping sound continues though, so he steps inside to try and listen to where it's coming from. As he does so, he hears a loud thud near his still open A thud? John pokes his head like out of the closet, and there in front of the window is the snowman that only a minute ago was standing outside. The what? snowman is dirt, lifelike, with sharp, pointed teeth, and a hungry grin curling more and more to the side as it starts to move closer. John is frozen in fear. He doesn't understand. There is no logical explanation. He oh, what the? slowly backs away did I do that, or into the closet. He just feels just something wet right. on his head. As John looks up, the missing snowman is on the ceiling, holding itself up with big, branched arms. John sees the other snowman now in front of the closet, arms reaching. The closet door begins to close, and complete darkness envelops John. Rough knotted branch fingers wrap around John's head, and a gruesome snap, popping sound echoes through the room okay. from that dark closet. John is never seen again. The house is put up for sale shortly after, however, with the disappearance of John well known throughout the town. A young boy, who suddenly vanished without a trace from his bed one frosty night, the house remained unsold and empty for many years. Until this night, in fact, which, my child, is where our story begins. Huh? Okay, who would want to listen to a story like this? Is it? Is it? What do I have to do now? Go to bed? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's done. Yep, it's done. Okay, what now? Strategy pen, the snowman is coming. I have to prepare. I need to find something to scare the snowman. Something to see in the dark. Something to blind both of them together, trying to swap between them. Would it be dangerous? I should bring everything to the table. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think I need this. Yes, that would be smart. Alright. I also got my flashlight, so I'll just use that. What else could I use? Where can I find some of the blind books? Is there anything here that I could use? What can I use? I just get into bed. Huh. Now I can't even see it. 
I think we need to climb both of them. Wait, what is that? Will this work? No, that ask word doesn't work. Oh. Tape! Yes! I did it! Okay, what now? Oh man, this is this is like this is like such an adventure for me. I love it. Isn't this great, Jack? Yep. Right. Action plan. Before each night, I should search for useful things and put them where they will help. Best defensive position to start. Okay. There we go. Night one, let's do this. Alright, I can't move, so it's just like the NAF one effect. Anyone here? Oh god. Oh, who are you? Who are you? You open the window, how dare you? Wait, what was that? What was that? What is that noise? Oh, it's just a deer. <laughs> Hi, deer. I gotta warn you, there's some dangerous things out here. I recommend you run. You should go. I'm trying to warn you, deer. Yes, good. Leave. Hmm. Wait, I hear something. Oh, I see you. Did you just open my door? Wait, can I close it? Oh, I can close it. Sweet. Okay. It's 1 a.m. right now. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Alright, snowman, I have a blow dryer and I'm not afraid to use it. What was that? Hello? Hello? Hello. Oh, it's 2 a.m. already. Oh man, I'm getting through this fast. Wait. I hear something, or is that just my clock? Oh! Oh no, what are you? No, 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 get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Go back to wherever you came from. You weird snowman. You big ice cream man. Huh? What the? Who turned my train? Okay. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh man. Okay, it stopped. Alright. It's 3.30 already. Wow. I'm doing great. Where is the snowman? 
You see, I knew why we shouldn't watch these before bed, because then they'll give you freaking nightmares. What the? Oh my god, that actually scared me for a second. Oh. Hi there. Okay. What the? Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm on 4.30. Okay, I'm almost done with the night. I know I can do this. Come on. Come on. Where are you, snowman? Like I said, I have a blow dryer and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. You are not getting me. Oh, it's a snowstorm. Okay. 5.15, almost done with the night. I think I can do this. Come on. Come on, Evan. 5.30. I hear something. What is that? Ten, ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Five more minutes. Yes, did I do it? Yes, I did it. Woo Six a.m. I did it. Hello. Hi. Oh, you look so suspicious. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, you're coming. Alright, guys, I think this is where I'm going to stop today, but... I'll play some more Frosty Nights soon, and it was pretty fun, actually. I pretty enjoyed it, but if you want me to do more, please leave it down in the comments below, and I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.